so what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Robert this is your first time tuning in so today doing a little dove hunting uh, last year we didn't do any dove hunting we actually spent um, all of September part of August and part of October traveling in Southeast Asia so that was my first year missing dove season basically when we came back it was already deer season uh, so we just jumped right into deer season right when we came back. So didn't do any dove hunting last year. So quickly tell you about my setup before some more doves come by. I already got one off camera right there. Um, but yeah, we have some peckers. I call them peckers. They call them. They're just like doves that are pecking on the ground. We have one decoy uh, mojo. I have five, but none of them wanted to work except for that one. And then I have some more uh, just decoys in the trees. So we'll see what happens. Um, so far it's been kind of slow, but usually it kind of picks up as the sun starts to come down. So uh, that's the reason I started to turn on the cameras. Started picking up just here shortly. Um, but yeah, we've hit some more birds, but just feathers came off. They didn't actually come down. So they just kept on flying. Now today we are using the 20 gauge might be asking why you're using a 20 gauge. Well, because I have a bunch of boxes or cases of shells that uh, this is the gun that my sister and my fiance use, but they usually don't hunt a whole lot. So whenever I first started buying them, you know, uh, shells, I bought them a bunch of 20 gauges and they've just been sitting there for the past two years and hardly get used. Um, so I decided to go ahead and use them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Like I said, it's been pretty slow, but just in the past five minutes, it started to pick up. So we'll see if, uh, if that's going to continue or not. But yeah, we got one. He was probably, I don't know, 30, 40 yards away or so. Just came right over me and flew in that direction. So typically the birds come from that direction this way. But so far, every single one that we've gotten or have seen have come from behind me this way. So the pattern has kind of changed up a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Drop it down in the comments, guys. Where are you guys hunting at? What part of Texas are you in? Uh, today's opener for South Texas. Uh, let me know where you, where you guys are at, what county you're at. How are the doves flying? Drop it down in the comments. Here comes one, hopefully. Got that one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. So let me go get that bird. Now bear with me, I messed up my foot this week. So I'm kind of limping and walking a little funny. I think I hit him twice. But, uh, but at least we got him. It's a good white wing. Yeah, I messed up my foot pretty good. So I uh, went to just shopping yesterday at HEB and freaking went out on me twice. So I'm just trying to not put a whole lot of pressure on it, so hopefully it can heal on its own. But, oh man, I can't help but at least come hunting. But I just came out here very, very early, so I wasn't rushing to set up and get myself plenty of time, because I already know myself. I get too excited, I'm gonna walk, I walk 
naturally fast. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get too excited. I'm gonna end up hurting my foot again. So gave myself plenty of time when I came out here. We have a bunch of butterflies and dragonflies. <clears throat> And sometimes when you take a quick look out of the corner of your eye, you see a black little spot in the air. And it uh, kind of makes you get ready because you think it's a dove. We also have a lot of those little, I don't even know what those birds are called. They just keep flying around every now and again. And uh, usually the new people that come out and shoot, they will typically try to shoot at those things. Thinking those are doves, but they're not. They're just some random bird in the sky. See like that, all these butterflies just flying around everywhere. Well, we'll see, they were flying just fine five minutes ago, but they've slowed down again. So hopefully we'll get another, another group of doves just flying over again. Now the doves used to be really, really good. We're talking about like 50 to 100 at a time in big groups just flying over. Um, and that's because the farmers down the road from me used to plant a lot of Milo. But, um, I don't know, maybe the farmers have just gotten older, maybe they passed away, maybe they're just not doing it anymore, maybe it's not profitable, I'm not really sure. But uh, I've been seeing less and less fields planted this, uh, well, kind of just over time. Over time, we've seen less and less fields being planted. Um, and even more so, even more recently, because they've been, I guess, selling off to developers. So we've been getting a lot more houses being built where those fa where those uh, fields used to be. So we've kind of seen that the the, uh, the groups of doves that pass by kind of slowly dwindling. Um, I'm assuming that's probably one of the reasons why is just you know the farmers aren't really planning for food for them anymore to come out this direction. We've been getting a lot more houses out here, so. Ah, shit, I think I got him though. Should have taken another shot. I think I got him. I should have taken that third shot. I just didn't. Because I was like, oh, I think he's going to fall. But he didn't fall immediately. Don't know where my other shell went. Let me go walk over there here shortly and see if I can't find him. I'm missing a shell. I was basically trying to shoot through this tree though too, so kind of screwed me up a little bit. I don't know where the shell's at. There it is. Let me make my way over there. Slowly but surely. In previous years, when I had more time, I used to just plow this whole little field and just turn it into solid, just ground up, tilled dirt. And the doves used to love it. They would just come and sit on this freaking ground and peck at it, um, thinking it was a field, but we didn't actually plant anything there. Um, but I guess the doves are so used to just seeing bare, tilled up dirt 
that they think that there's food there. So that's what we used to do. And I have some videos on it on my channel from a couple years ago of me doing that and talking about it as well. And again, it would work. And you literally didn't have to spend any money planting anything. You just till up the ground and the doves think that there's stuff planted there that you just knock down some some uh, some field, some grain or something, milo or corn, and they think you would come, then they would come out here and land. I'd put out my decoys and they'd come in here and land. And it was it was so nice because they would just come and, and like uh, like flutter in and then try to land. It was really, really sweet. And we'd get like freaking groups of like 20, 30, 40, 50, just big, large groups that would come in and just try to land and all of this stuff that I healed, had uh, tilled up. Oh shit. oh shit, there's some right there. Those are the big groups that we were talking about. We used to get them all the time. Nope, too far. Damn. Way too far. Ah, that was a white wing too. Nope. They were kind of far. But you never know. You might get lucky and get a shot off on them. There's a good little group back there. Ooh, those are high, high, high. Another group over there. It was kind of far, but I thought I'd go ahead and take that shot since we're getting many shot opportunities. 